what's happening gang now we've got a broken roller here um, as you can see we are sheared it's a clean shear but it uh, has an old crack in it so what I'm going to do is bevel either side and same thing down here bevel either side then we'll fire up the welder get her welded up and then we've got to pull the deck off of this legacy check the bearings and make sure that the bearings are in good shape in the deck spindles if not it's not a big deal I can find them here standing right by them there they are because uh, I've got the bearings and cool thing is Simplicity has used the old adage if it's not broke don't fix it well it's exactly what we've got here is the bearings that are for my old deck spindles from the 60s actually even going all the way back to you know, the first garden tractor 1958 and probably even the two wheel walk behinds uh, same bearing all the way up to the 1998 so pretty cool that they maintained using the same bearings anyway we're going to get to grinding after we get to grinding uh, we'll kick the welder on we're doing a little bit of a throwback using the uh, microphone on my Hero 7 just because I want to see uh, my own OCD thing. I want to check a couple things out, and I needed this camera and that microphone to do it. So we'll see how that turns out. But stay tuned. We'll get those bevels ground on it and show you what it's going to look like before we weld. All right. Well. We've got everything ground. I'll show you on this one. We've got all four sides ground. Nice deep V groove weld. When we go to put these on, these are just uh, magnet blocks and they are clean. And they're going just like that. In fact, I think I'll turn it so it's a little easier for me to weld. And also sight it in, make sure I'm good and square. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I need to move this one in, this long one here it's not close enough so I don't have things even so that's easy enough to do just pop these off bring it down and pinch it I don't know if that's in view we in view eh ish hang on tilt the camera down just a little and move the microphone back there all I'm doing is just pinching these together a little bit. Until I have both of these lining up the way they need to. Still just a tad more. This one's still just a little bit high. Check it again. I'm going to get a straight edge to put on that to see. I want to be sure it's spot on. Hang on. Straight edge in hand. All right. 
Let's go ahead and use the magnets to make it a little easier on us. Back you guys up. You're, you're crowding me. Going real old school actually using a tripod too. Usually I use my gator clamp. There we go. I went a little bit too far. Not a lot, just a hair. The bottom's just fine. Need to spread that out just a little bit. No big deal. Just a hair. Come on. Woo! Helps if you turn it the other way, Zippo. Don't you remember? Lefty loose and righty tighty. Just because you're left handed doesn't mean everything else is. Right? <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. We'll just go this way. I've got a better bite on it. There we go. And it only needs to move a little bit. Just a hair. So. position for you guys to see but it's okay for me move this move that magnet out of the way now let's see how we are there we go that's where we want to be all right so now we're ready to weld so I'm going to secure these this side just like that and then lay my welds in here and here I'm not going to chance damaging the camera with the light of the welder so I'm going to do the welding off camera also the strobe effect can uh, affect some people and I certainly do not want to affect any body so when I get it tacked in place, we will pop the camera back on. So you can see you guys in just a second. There we go. We got her tacked, so we should be able to pull these guys off. Set them aside. We'll go ahead and finish buzzing around all of them. Then I've got to clean the welds up, reassemble everything, and Remove the deck from Das Legacy so I can check the spindles and bearings and everything that's going on with it. And also to see if I can get the deck adjustment motor working because it's currently not. So we'll get this finished up and I'll grind everything down smooth and nice and neat and tidy so that the because uh, the slide adjustment just moves up and down this when you're adjusting your deck with the electric motor. So we'll see it when it's done and we'll get it put together and get the deck off. I think that hole's just slightly oversized. <laughs> it should be. Just a hair over an inch, like an inch and a sixteenth, to fit over the uh, roller bar. So, what I've done is I've taken an old roller and I'm just drilling it out. There's the regular size, there's the one inch, and I'm going to ream it to an inch and a sixteenth, and it should work just fine. Just need to replace it. Whoop get down there need to replace it and then whack it off but let's take a look at uh, the welds from the cheap harbor freight 
Chicago Electric 90 Amp Flux Core Welder. Didn't do too bad a job. And all I did was just use this handheld wire brush. If you're careful with them, and you've got everything good and clean, you're not going to get a bunch of spatter. So, can they weld good? Sure they can weld good. I'm going to clean these up, grind them down, especially on the inside where that little track runs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. A little block of metal that uh, runs up and down that right there. Just slides up and down. So, we need to get that cleaned up. Then we'll be ready to install. But, yeah, look. Okay. Just a hair sloppy. Uh, the bushings are just gone, but don't have any bushings, but I do have plenty of these old rollers and they'll work just fine. That's that. Let me get it cleaned up. Well, I figured you guys might like to see a little bit of milling action, even though we're just milling into some hard rubber here. So, let's fire this guy up. I've just got it running real slow. And we're going to use uh, Mr. Bill Turner's power feed. Let me make sure I know which way we're going here. Tighten things down and bring it close. Got to run it nice and slow. Here we go. We're just gonna stand back, no hands, and just let her run down. I'll show you here. Just running itself down. We can speed that up just a little. Let me go ahead and bring it down a little further. And we start pulling some chips out. There we go. We're gonna let that run as far and deep as it'll go. It's like watching paint dry. It's not really doing a whole lot other than well, uh, it started out at one point or at one inch, and we're going up to one point one two five. So. Not even seeing any chips coming out, are ya? Give me just a second here and let me see if I can't throw some chips out. There you go. Now you get to see some chips. That auto feed's going a little bit too slow. And I'm using the VFD variable frequency drive. Make sure I shut it off. Clearing the chips. And it's leaving a really nice finish in there too. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go through this side. I'm going to change out collets. Put this in so that I can make sure I'm good and centered on the other side. And then we'll finish it through using that bit. So we'll see you guys as soon as we get the hole blown through it. It's all over everywhere. I did clean it off of the mill. We got her done though. A little bit of chamfer. And a little bit of chamfer. And we've got a hole. So let's see. How we did, see if we got her big enough, but not too big. There we go. That's what we're after. Right on. The uh, collar goes here, and the roller goes right there. So, that piece goes right there. You can see where the set screw had a hold of it. So, now uh, we've got that taken care of. 
uh, we can get the deck off, inspect the deck, and keep our fingers crossed that we have no, I repeat, no bad bearings in the deck. So, we're going to call this one. That's enough of that. That's just a repair on the rear roller bar. Said that'll go on there. It'll slide on down. I'll leave the set screw loose so that when I do get it down there, let me take a look here. This will tell me how it orients. Okay. It orients just like that. But I'm going to throw some paint on the areas that I welded on and heated up. So that, that'll go on, it'll slide down to there. Then the washer will go on. Then the roller, and then another washer. And I should have some of these in here. Here? Would they be in here? Oh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, no, they wouldn't be in there. Uh, a little bit about um, Prince Harry, the van. Uh, ran into a little big gentleman who emailed me, didn't run into him, literally, but there, that one will work. That one's got the same size hole. Nope, well, it's just a little small. Will fit. who has uh, parts, oh yeah, yeah, we'll just use that, we'll use this one on, oh, hang on, close that back up, we'll use this one on that side, and then this one on the inside, or vice versa, it really doesn't matter, that one can go there too, that's just so that the uh, cutter pin doesn't eat through the roller so um but contacted me through gmail uh, my address gmail address down in the description for anybody who doesn't know um and so is my p.o box um but i suppose you guys can look at me i'm on the hero 8 now you can see i've got the hero 7 uh i used it for most of this shoot and the remainder, remainder of this shoot is uh, going to be done on the 8. Um, he's got a bunch of parts. He was going to build a 292, and the vehicle that he was going to use met with the uh, uncertain fate. Wound up being 13 inches shorter. Uh, kind of had an accident. Fortunately, he's okay. Um, but that's been some time ago. And these parts have just been collecting dust in his garage. Um, and he's, uh, he and I are seeing what we can do about working out a deal. So I may end up with uh, some nice, pretty, shiny new parts. Uh, there's a possibility I'm going to be checking compression and all six cylinders and everything on it, on it and uh, seeing. Um, just generally how healthy the engine is 150,000 miles is a, a good a good number of miles um, but if it's been taken care of it's not too bad so thinking about getting a short block if I get a short block then I can do the valve seats and valves and put new springs and a hotter cam in as well as a dual intake manifold and a split header to give the little engine that could just a little bit more oomph. I'm gonna mount you guys right here. Sorry about that squeaking. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but give it a little more go-go and make it good and reliable. I can get a short block relatively inexpensively I mean, the biggest pain in the neck is those engines any engines in those old vans they have to come out and through the passenger door 
Doesn't that sound like fun? Doesn't sound like fun to me either. But uh, that would be a project. Uh, but I think that van deserves it. Uh, it needs to have a good, reliable powertrain. It's got a TH. I am pretty sure it's a turbo hydromatic 350. It may be a 400. I'd have to look at it to find out for sure. I uh, don't have the build sheet on it, so I'm clueless as far as uh, options and rear gear ratio. I do know it's a one wheel peel. Um, and yes, it, it'll actually spin the tires and I agree with everybody white walls do need to go uh, in my opinion so do the dog dish hubcaps uh, that van needs a little bit a little bit of attitude uh, to go along with uh, its good looks on the exterior I also picked up a couple of captains chairs for the front they're 360 degree swivel with armrests and reclining and it was only 75 bucks from my local uh, junkyard so plus I also picked up and who'd have thought uh, you know in my junkyard I would find it but um, I'll show you one side hello Clifford I'll show you this side over here the floor mat on this side that's a uh, one of them throwback things but it's got the uh, heavy Chevy right well the one on that side has a huge hole in it well wouldn't you know I go out there and there's a 74 short wheelbase G10 van out there and what does it have <laughs> it's got the exact same floor mat it's missing the ribs right here but uh yeah so i was like cool and doug he just gave it to me um but i think what i'm gonna do now we're at about uh 10 till 4 is unhook sylvester from the trailer and go on back to the auto parts and uh liberate the seats now the seats are blue but i don't care they're higher backed and they have headrests and armrests and they recline and 360 degree swivel so i can work with that i have a really good upholsterer who can take care of the other stuff but we're probably going to be uh doing a bit of a color change on the interior anyway to better match the outside at some point in time but that's going to do it. That's just a quick little update. I also ordered a bunch of parts for uh, Prince Harry. I got the two flexible lines for the brake calipers here. And then the single flexible line for the rear end. Um, as well as dot three fluid, points cap, or er, cap rotor distributor. Uh, do everything that you need to do a general tune-up oil oil filter air filter all that stuff so that's going to round it out uh, last part of the video is the babble usually it's the first part of the video is the babble i saved it till the end so if you guys are still watching that's awesome you're getting a little bit of, of an update on uh, prince harry there and um i had no say in the matter that was just what uh, the girls decided to name it so that's its name prince harry um but we're uh i was able to work on my stuff for the majority of the day today which which was well miss zippo stuff which is kind of nice uh the next thing we're going to do is pull uh the deck off and when we pull the deck off we're going to inspect our uh bearings and our idler pulleys and just check and see how healthy everything is uh obvious it's got a new idler pulley here uh, I believe this one's been maintained pretty well um, it has really nicely sharpened blades on it <clears throat> and there's a lot of other indications uh, throughout the tractor that say it's been uh, maintained so my hopes is that deck is in good healthy shape 
then I'll get the other deck over here and rebuild the spindles in it and like I said it uses this has the set the Sunstar has the same bearings as the Legacy as would a deck that would go on the old B12 so it's brilliant that uh, they have kept with components like that for so many years and just to show you um, this is actually the size of the rollers up until the Sunstar then when you got into the Legacy a couple years later you stepped up to a one inch bar things got huge so you went from that tiny hole to that huge hole but anyway that's enough now all I'm doing is babbling and wasting your guys' time so thanks for sticking around you got to see a little bit of mill work even though I was just milling rubber uh, I did a little bit of lathe work too all I did was after I cut that uh, roller down to the size that I wanted it here's the original one that has a huge hole in it um, but after I cut it down um, the saw didn't cut it square so I put it in the lathe and I was at max capacity on the lathe and just used my parting tool to face the uh, wobble out of it worked pretty well um, and I did not make it back down to Mrs. Blevins to get the rest of the small engine stuff but come September she wants me to help her clean the shed out which she hasn't touched yet and we're going to check the shed out and uh, see what kind of goodies we come up with in there no idea what uh, Mr. Blevins had hiding in there so it'll be a, a discovery for us all so Shelby is pretty smitten with Clyde I had to separate him I caught him getting a little snuggly Anyway, Friendly Neighborhood Zippo, promise you guys, I will see you on the next one. If you are part of the 15.5% that are subscribed, thank you very, very much. If you are part of the 84.5% that are not subscribed, please consider doing so. It doesn't cost anything, it's free. And if you select all for notifications, you'll know when I post a video. That's it. For the neighborhood Zippo, I promise you guys I'll see you on the next one later. I'm out of here.